hi people good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you're seeing this post all right this week we are going to learn together how to make brown soup transparent brown soup all right the one you see in the market okay so i want you to pay attention just watch this um, video to the end because i'll be putting the measurement on the screen all right without further ado let's dive into it okay on my screen what you're seeing is caustic soda all right 200 grams i'm using one liter of tallow for this product. so i'm using 200 grams of caustic all right set it aside this is my sugar i'm using 150 grams of sugar and i'll be dissolving it with 200 ml of water of warm water please all right i normally um dissolve my sugar first because sugar things uh time to dissolve because this production your sugar you need to dissolve it completely to be very clear before you use for the production so what what you need to do is first of all dissolve your sugar and set it aside that's what i'm actually doing right there this is one water you're seeing and the sugar is inside you dissolve it and set it aside all right you can even leave it and be doing other things uh -huh. by then to be dissolving on its own okay um what you're seeing right there on the screen is water for caustic solution all right want to dissolve this caustic with this um water and the amount is 500 ml all right we're using 500 ml of water to dissolve um the caustic soda the 200 grams of caustic soda all right so please be careful wear your gloves so that um it should not touch your skin all right you turn it you stay it very well you will leave it for some time let the let it clear all right before you use it don't just um use it like that just stay it for some time allow it to clear then you cannot use it um for your production and we are going to use it immediately don't you know waste time don't leave it or let it cool down no you know you know allow it to cool down you use it immediately after the um after it must have cleared all right and that's what we're going to do right now have you seen it is clearing it's clearing all right it's clearing small small you use it as up as i said already don't leave it to cool down use it immediately as it is hot your oil is hot the caustic is hot all right now this is our oil this is one liter of tallow i'm using only tallow for this production all right this is one liter of tallow okay so we are going to uh, pour in our life solution our caustic soda solution inside so as you pour the caustic soda you you stir it all right you just stir it please make sure you're wearing clothes your safety is also very important in soap making okay you stir it until it is well combined when it is well combined the next thing to do is to cover your soap because your soap need to cook all right after the oil and the cause soda must have combined together you cover it allow your soap to cook okay you just give it like 15 to 20 minutes or even say maximum 25 minutes so that you the soap your soap will cook very well okay and that's what we're going to do next as you see it is well combined it is well combined so next thing to do is to um cover it cover your soap allow it to cook as i said earlier you cover it for like 15 20 to 25 minutes which is the maximum okay my i left it for 25 minutes okay this is me checking it after 25 minutes to know if your soap have cooked very well the color will change have you seen it the color will change from what it was before before you cover it so have you seen the color have changed so now the next um chemical to add in this production is your ethanol and i'm using 500 ml for this production ethanol is the next chemical is the next ingredients to add to this production so you you stay together then add the ethanol remember i said ethanol 500 ml 
okay and again eh, please the ethanol don't add it at once please you add it gradually okay don't add it boom just at once no add it gradually if you can divide into two divide into two just add it small small mm? as you add you stay as you are seen on the screen as you add you stay all right please don't add it at once i know what i'm saying it. don't add it at once you add it gradually and stay don't add the whole 500 mil at once add it gradually mm -hmm. so that's what we are doing that's ethanol and again it should be very fast okay you should be very very fast as you're adding your turning you're adding your turning and be fast okay so yeah you know your soap will not have so much lumps okay just be fast about it even though you're adding it gradually you're you'll be turning it so this is the second part i divided my own into two i added the first one this is the second one i'm adding right now okay then immediately you finish adding your ether the next thing to add is your um glycerin and in this production i'm using 100 mil okay 100 mil of glycerin okay for this production so immediately you finish adding your ethanol your glycerin should come in first please some people normally mix their ethanol and glycerin together and which is very good i didn't do that here all right if you are making your own production please endeavor to mix your ethanol after you must have measured it out um together with your glycerin and add it okay it will help it will help make your soap not to have a lumps it will help even though it has lumps it will dissolve quickly than adding it uh, one after the other so don't do the mistake here all right you can add your ethanol and your glycerin together you can mix it together and add nothing it will it will not have any um negative effect rather it will help your soap to dissolve um quickly so that is it. So I have added the two. I've added my ethanol. Now this is my sugar solution. Have you seen how clear the sugar is? Please, you add sugar solution. You add your sugar solution to it and stir. All right, and stir. So have you seen these lumps? So there are two things you need to do to clear these lumps. Either you cover your soap and leave for some times the lumps will clear or you double boil okay but in but in this um production i didn't have time to be you know align i have some things to do so i just cover it i say ah let me um boil it let me double boil it because i have other things to do so in this production i double boiled my own so you can as well choose either you cover it like this and leave it for some time or you double boil it so in this production i double boiled mine okay so you can either choose to cover or double boil so i'm checking this soap all right it's clearing small small so you keep checking it until it's fully cleared okay keep checking it so that's what you you just be doing just be checking it and see if this if there's no lumps okay in the soap at this point the soap is all clear there's no lumps again so you bring down your soap then add fragrance that's the next thing that you add now after the lumps must have uh, disappeared add your fragrance what i use i use um lemon and lavender okay i mix lemon and lavender so just add fragrance stir it and pour inside your mold that is just it so let's pour our soap in a mold okay don't bother about um the this thing on top of it it will clear okay or you can actually use um ethanol you can use pour ethanol in a spray bottle and spray it will disappear
Okay, I don't have a um, spray bottle at the moment, so I use the my spoon to try to clear it out. So you can even do the same. All right, that is just it. So after this, now you leave it for nine, nine to sixteen hours. Yes, or even twenty four hours before you unmold. Okay, this is our soap after 24 hours, all right? So we'll unmold it, then we'll cut it. Then we'll use light to check if light will pass through it. That's to know if we got it, if it is transparent enough. So that's just it. See how beautiful our soap is now. Mm, and the scent is so nice. The fragrance is so, so nice. And it's very hard there. <laughs> This will be so hard. Even before 16 hours, if I checked, it was hard. Just I, I didn't have time to cut that. I said, okay, let me just leave it the next day. So see, also be so beautiful. So we use light to pass. If the lights will pass through, uh, pass through it. Okay, moment of truth. Let's check if the light will pass straight. Okay, so we're going to um check if the if it's transparent enough. Okay, I'm trying to see if you can see my hand. Wow, see, we got it. So this is just it. So the video is self-explanatory. It's straight to the point. There was not too much grammar. Just look at the screen, just copy exactly what you see on the screen and make yours. All right. So I want to specially thank each and every one of you to my subscribers. I'm grateful to the new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome to the family. So guys, I want to say thank you. God bless you. Please. Remember to subscribe, follow, and tell somebody to tell somebody to follow us. Tell your friends, tell your family members to come and learn. All right. See my next video. Bye-bye.